So this is an um, uh, exciting novel uh, psychological treatment for treatment resistant post-traumatic stress disorder in military veterans. So it's um, originally from Netherlands, from Professor Eric Vermetten's team, who's a military psychiatrist, and he's dreamt up this treatment, which is very novel, as you can see behind, which stands for Motion Assisted Modular uh, Memory Desensitization Reconsolidation, brackets 3MDR for short. So basically, it's um, a therapy that uses motion. So the patient walks for 60 minutes on a treadmill, uh, whilst being exposed to seven pictures from their trauma. So for instance, if it was an Afghanistan veteran, uh, it might be pictures of his uh, time deployment there, and he's exposed to those over 60 minutes. Walking through virtual reality tunnels, a door opens, the first picture uh, appears, and it gets bigger and bigger as he walks back into his trauma. So it activates his memory network of thoughts and feelings, which typically veterans try to avoid thinking about and pushing them away. So it's really, it's really hardcore exposure therapy with assisted um, movement through walking, and then a red ball gives a bilateral stimulation with a number on which the patient calls out, and this taxes their working memory. So it's all about taxing the working memory while getting the patient to go back into their trauma which allows the memory to be reconsolidated into the part of the brain where it should be in the past. Having been diagnosed, I received my treatment in Halvar, local health board, and at the end of two years of cognitive behavioural therapy, the traditional therapy um, for PTSD, um, 38 sessions, two hours each. Um, at the end of that time, um, I reach the state of say normality because you never you're never cured from a trauma you learn to live with it um, but it, it it worked for me but it was over two years and 38 two-hour sessions having experienced that and having experienced now 3MDR I think the value of it in the toolbox for psychotherapist is enormous the value is incalculable